size of an impala. Uh, ooh, lion. We didn't see a lion in India. That's a lion there. Right, let's go infrared. Lights down. This lion is hunting. Are we infrareded? There we go. Well done. Perfect. Good job. Are we infrared? There we are. Well done. Okay, I now can't see anything, so I'm going to have to follow you, Martin. I better just call this in. Um, right, quickly call this in. Stations one lioness on quarantine clearings. Mobile in a northerly direction. Animals are definitely hunting. This is going to be worth watching, I think, for a little while. She's on the hunt, almost certainly. We know the wildebeest herd was here. Did hear the impala alarming, but they've stopped now. And I wonder if there isn't an ambush afoot. I'm going to ask Rebecca to tell Brent to go around the eastern side of quarantine. We're on the western side. And just see if he can't pick up something that side, maybe. Can you still see the lion? Well spotted. Something's calling a bird. Okay. You gotta. I can't even see where you're looking. Okay, now I can see. Let's buy this bush. Just keep going. So I'm now navigating by means of the, there you go, by means of the same picture that you're seeing. So we're pretty much parallel with her, right? Go ahead. Ooh. They've been spotted, I'm afraid. Let me just call that in. The yeah, stations, these animals have definitely been spotted in part of our alarm calling. Animal is now coming onto quarantine clearings, going north at the junction with that fireside chat road. Yeah, you can hear the impala going. Amazing that, because I can't see that line with my naked eye. You and I would not be able to do it. But clearly the Impala have got far better eyes than us, unless there's another line is that side. Let's keep going. Brent says they're wildebeest on the eastern side, where he is. Is she not on the road there? Just look on the road in front of us. Ooh, we've lost her. Oh, yeah, she sneezed. Look, look, look over there. Anything there? There she is. Thankfully, she's got a bit of a cold. She's running now. Now, I cannot see her but for the same picture that you're getting. Ooh, where are we going? Okay, I'm going to turn up onto here. Can you still see her? There she is. Got her. Well done. Now, Station's Animal is now northern side of the clearings. Um, still mobile north by northeast. Only one station here at the moment. I mean, you'll see her. I might have to flick some lights on quickly. Oh, no, you got her. You can see eyes blinking. And there's a car. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the lights on to have a look. There she goes. Okay, she's not turned south. Now this is the difficulty, of course, is that I cannot see what's going on in front of me. Luckily we're on the clearings. Stations is, Lioness is now mobile south. She's turned round. Can you still see her at all the Martin? Yes, there's going to be lots of shaking. Go left a bit. Okay, copy. Yeah, I think that's where she's heading, Brent. Brent says he's got the wildebeest in front of her. Him. Let's just quickly keep this going. I know we're now well over time, but we're just going to keep it going. The spotlight is clearly about to give up. But there she is. She's just to the right there. I'm now heading straight towards her. You got her there. Well done. Oh gosh, didn't see that stick. Uh, no. Alright chaps, I think we're going to have to call this. We, oh, there she is. No, that's a wildebeest. Okay, let's just be quiet and let's wait here. Because this lioness is quite close to this wildebeest. Has the lioness gone? She must be right here, somewhere. It's an impala alarm calling behind us. Might be worth just waiting here to see if she doesn't come launching out of the bushes. So that's dead straight in front of us. Just look to the left behind this wildebeest. Yeah, behind that bush. Nothing there. I'll go back to the wilde and maybe just scan to the right as well. Now they're in parlor alarm calling the other side. I think that she, he has heard the lioness. He's not far in front of us now, actually, you can see him quite easily. I'll give this one minute and then we'll move around to the other side. Yes, I know. Isn't it confusing? Now, right now, he's using his ears and his nose more than he's using anything else. And Impala alarm calling off towards Inga's house. Yeah, and that's what Brent reckons is the other lioness. Okay, copy that. Let's move slightly. I'm going to leave the Vildi where he is and just move to where he's been looking. Now, of course, this is all very good practice for any kind of night hunting that we want to film. It's not easy and would be substantially easier with a thermal camera, of course, which hopefully we will have at some stage. There, what's that? Is that an impala? Yes, it's an impala. Looking at the wildebeest. See if you can find the wildebeest again. 
be just off to the left. There's Leo Smith. That's his infrared light. There's the wildebeest, sorry. That hit a small hole. Turn left, 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 go left, go left. There go the wildebeest, the lions are going to chase, the lions will be chasing. Huge herd of wildebeest running. Keep the camera up. Oh, we're in amongst the dust. Wonderful stuff. Where are the lions now? Of course, once they've given chase, we can probably turn the lights on, it'll be okay. Let's go in from behind. Well, they gave chase. I'm not sure that they're going to have succeeded there, though. There she is. I'm afraid they made a mess of that one. Wonderful. That is great. All right, everyone. I think we're going to pack this up. I'm afraid you're leaning on your radio again, Martin. Um, we're going to pack this in. We obviously don't know how much effect we're having and how much we aren't. But thank you very much for joining us on our little show today, our wonderful drive, which ended up pretty action-packed. We'll see what these lionesses do and keep you informed about it in the morning. Until then, well, I hope that you stay very... Oh, this is the longest 30 seconds of my life. Uh, we're going to just see if we can't maybe stick with them for a bit longer and we'll see what they do. So thanks for coming. A big thanks to the final control and to Brent and Jamie. We will see you all tomorrow as Brent disappears into the distance there at 0600.